I have the Google Pixel 6 right here. And as you can see, the device is rooted with Majisk. And because I have Majisk installed, it is unable to bypass safety net checks. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to bypass these checks on both the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro using a new Majisk module and a few settings changes within the Majisk application. Now to start off, we need to download a safety net fix module from KDragon. I'm going to be linking to this GitHub page in the video description below so that you can download this zip file. You want to make sure you're downloading it for Zygist. And right now we're at version 2.2.0, but if there is a newer version out, then you'll likely want to download that one instead. So with this module downloaded, we need to flash it in Majisk. So we open up Majisk, tap on the modules tab at the bottom, and we're going to choose the install from storage option. We can see the zip file right there. So we're just going to go ahead and tap it. And you can see that it has been installed properly. And with this module installed, we're going to tap the blue reboot button down at the bottom to go ahead and restart the Pixel 6 smartphone. Now there are some things we still have to set up before we are able to bypass safety net on the Pixel 6. And you're going to find these settings within the Majisk application itself. So we're just going to wait till the phone boots back up. We're going to log back into our account on Android and open up the Majisk application again. If you want, you can check the modules section to still make sure that the module is installed properly and it is enabled. And you can see this red note here saying it is suspended because Zygist is not enabled. And that's one of the settings changes we need to do. So with the module installed, we're going to tap the gear or cog icon at the top right of the Majisk application. You're going to scroll down a little bit till you see the Majisk section. And we're going to tap the toggle for the Zygist option. Now we are told that another reboot is required but we're going to do that a little bit later. Instead, we're going to tap the toggle for the enforce deny list option. And now we're going to tap the configure deny list option. So once you tap that, you're going to get a list of the applications you have installed and you'll want to configure your deny list with the applications you want to hide Majisk from hide root access from. Now this could be banking applications, mobile games like Pokemon Go, or even other apps that just refuse to work due to safety net issues. Google Pay is a popular option, a popular choice here, and I'm going to use that as my example here because when I try to open up Google Pay, I simply am not able to launch the service. And then we can go back to the main settings page. Now, while this step is not technically required in order to bypass safety net checks, some apps actively check to see if the Majisk application is installed. So you may want to go ahead and hide the Majisk application and just give it a new name. Doesn't matter what name you give it as long as it is not Majisk. Tap on OK and let the Majisk application hide and relaunch.
with all of this done, we are still going to be failing safety net checks, but that's because we need to do another restart. So let's go ahead and restart the device again. And when we boot back up into Android, we are going to perform another safety net check to see if we are now able to get a pass message on there. So we can check, make sure that we still have Magisk installed. We still have our modules set up correctly. Now when we go back into and check for a safety net, we are getting two pass messages on both the basic integrity and the CTS profile match. Now I'm seeing some reports that say after doing all of this, they are still failing the CTS profile match. If that is happening to you, you're going to want to go into the settings application go into apps, check all of the apps, even system apps. You're gonna to wanna to scroll down a little bit until you see the Google Play Services app. Tap on storage. And then you're going to want to clear the app data. So you clear cache and clear all data in order to reset everything. And then you can recheck and run your safety net to make sure you get to pass results right there. So that wraps up today's video. That is the entire process on how to pass safety net checks on the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, even with Magisk installed. It's a little bit different than before. We're now needing to use this Zygisk option and this new module, but at least we are still able to bypass safety net checks.